welcome. This is part two of Musashi Samurai Legend. Uh, just going to check this real quick, make sure everything's up and running, then we'll get into it. There we are. Okay, so we just got the water sword, and we just beat that big-ass octopus boss. Controller. There we are. Controller responded. So, um, I think we're going to get the fire sword now. First, let's rest up. And get that full health back. Uh, I noticed that in the last VOD, I made a lot of comparisons to Brave Sensor and Musashi. Obviously, like, this is the sequel. I'm going to try to not do that as much. I think everything that's been said about the two has been said. And uh, the best we can do now is just move on with this game, accept it for what it is. It is still a great game. It just doesn't quite capture us like the first one did. At least doesn't capture me as much. Could be some nostalgia in there, though, because... I don't know. You know how it is. Okay, I think we have enough to upgrade our katana again. Oh, we need four chunks now. Never mind. So that's going to probably go up every time. I read somewhere that there's 20 chunks. So 2, 4, 8, 16. No. Two, it's going to go up uh, amount, an amount. Let's see. Check the map. Right, okay. So we have to go to the chief's quarter and we have to wake up the sword. So we can use some of this water stuff. Uh, for reference, we're about... There's four swords. We have two of them. Four swords that we have to get. And then there's an end uh, dungeon. So we're like, what would you say? Like two-fifths of the way through? Yeah. Uh, barring some side quests. There might be some side quests. In fact, I think there is some side quests. I actually got a decent amount of sleep last night. Not as much as I... Um, would obviously like not as much to be fully optimal, but a lot more than usual. So I'm a lot more here today. Say, pretty spiffy outfit. Oh, you really think so? Thank you. Well, let's get this show on the road. By all means. I will commence the rite of transfer. After I complete the incantation, thrust the sword of water into the water gate marked on the ground. Let's begin. Oh, sacred sword of water, this brave soul from another world vows in the name of the five spirits of mortals and of the Should be working. to walk with you Sorry. as long as he lives. Learned Hydro Blast. Launch watery missiles that can extinguish flames and make hot objects cool instantly. Okay, so this doesn't let us walk on water like I thought. The Anthodon regains some of its strength and can now journey even further. Looks like Arthur? we're done here. That was amazing. You might be a hero after all. I'm finally convinced that the village is in good hands. That's amazing it took her so long to take that and be convinced of that we rescued her from an underground base like the enemy's underground base she was in a vat i would like to begin the board meeting let's start with announcements yes i have one. Oh, goody a minor setback at the mine a drill column ruined one of the excavating machines what? Do you have any idea how much those things cost? Well, well, well don't, don't blame me. It's that Nick Masashi's fault. Sticking his nose where it doesn't belong. He even took the water wench. And where were you at the time? Well, I was taking care of um, a medical condition on my way back here. See? I told you surfing was bad for you. Let's look on the bright side. 
Sure, we took some licks and lost machinery and we're behind schedule and over budget, but that big statue is gone and we can dig even deeper. We may have lost the battle, but we won the door. Glad the poet laureate. Oh, I'm surrounded by idiots. Moving right along. We are uh, demodulating the control systems at Mount Terroir. We will be um, operative soon. Okay. And we're waiting on your budget. Anyone else? Energy conversion at Nebulium Tower is dropping. Clearly, alternative measures are in order. Perhaps we should secure some magical tower? By all means. Find a suitable candidate. This concludes today's meeting. See you all again next time. It's pretty cool it's a corporation uh, instead of an empire, like from the first one. In Brave Fencer, it was an empire, the Thirst Quencers. Now it's a, like a badass corporation. Which I feel like corporations nowadays are pretty much empires. There's that game, I think it's called Shadow Runner. And uh, you, the, the corporations have essentially taken over. And they're like the new governing body or whatever. I haven't played the game myself, but I watched someone play it. And I thought the idea was pretty neat. I think Cyberpunk 2077 is kind of similar. The co corporation just makes so much money that the government can't keep up. They just become too powerful and suddenly everyone's working for them. So everyone has a, an incentive for the corporation to take over or at least continue running and maintain power. is Tilsit. Hi, Musashi. School is back in session, but I'm miss still missing two of my star pupils. I have a feeling you'd like to meet them. They're the twin maidens of fire. You serious? But of course, Mirabo and Maribo are their names, and they've been absent for some time now. Would you please try to find them for me? I'll try to hand them in on time. Okay. Good answer. I heard they went in the direction of Mount Terrier. Terrier? A volcano that shows signs of activity recently. The locals claim that something has angered the volcano's spirit. The twins apparently set out to appease it. Though young, they are devoted to their duty and to each other. As you may have heard, their powers are only, mani only manifest when they are together. Oh, I wish I could have talked them out of going. I hope they're all right. I'm sure they don't call it Mount Terrier for nothing. Terror? Do take care. I'm not sure how to say that. That eye froze me off. Let's talk to these guys. Hello. Mrs. Tilt is usually pretty nice, but she turns into an angry angler if we forget to do our homework. Hello. This guy, is, yeah, this guy we talked to before. He just wants to talk about cards. Now, I looked up some stuff because I wanted to make sure. I didn't miss certain things because I remember there's a ring we can get and uh, when I was a kid I missed it and I couldn't get it again and it was very frustrating because my friend had it. So I'm just going to double check. Ah, where have you been? Today I teach you art of using enemy strength against him. It called counter attack. You watch me and duplicate if you can. Oh, he's got a little cane sword. R1 and square. Musashi learns a new technique. Counter strike. Or counter attack. Duplicating an enemy's attack will unleash a critical hit. Good for you, duckling. You improve. You can now defend and counter attack. Whenever you duplicate techniques you already know, we duplicate foes many times. You see. Thanks. You're the cat's meow. Now go. 
Make me proud, Tiger Cub. But I could only use that when I'm duplicating. Okay. I was hoping I could use it whenever. I see you have the Sword of Water. You know, Hydro Blast freezes lava and puts out fire enemies. When things get too hot, use Hydro Blast to cool them down. Okay. Yeah, I I looked up a few things, but um, I did not know that we'd get counterattack there. I just read that we can get techniques from him every now and then. So I'm going to do that. I believe I read there's like 24, 25 skills. Okay, let's jump down. I believe we have all of this. There's also an arena that we can do later. That just gets us equipment. Let's go to Bannon's office. Actually, let's make sure we have food. We do not have food, and we have rocks. Okay. Should have probably appraised the rocks. But that's on a different floor, so we're not going to do that. We're going to just go... Carry these rocks along with us. Buy some bread. Simple as. Hello there. Uh, makes the tastiest bread anywhere. I'm learning from the best. Imagine me a master baker like Tunbrod. I'll have to bake lots of loaves before I get that good. Apparently she also has a ring for us. All of the maidens Welcome. have a ring. I want to go shopping. Bye. I'm gonna get more corn muffin. Eight should last us a long time. And by a long time, as soon as I get to a boss fight, because I'm a noob. Thank you very much. I very much rely on that continue button to save money. Rather rather than just spamming bread. Uh, she will give us ice cream, but it melts if we don't buy ice, so and I never really have a problem with low magic points. Not really, anyways. We have the space, we have the money. Let's just buy some for the sake of buying some. Just, we have to buy dry ice, right? I don't know how long it lasts. We'll just get some wasabi mint. And that's all our money. We'll, we'll get more. Okay. This is our third area. I think it's a volcano. Yeah, Mount. It's the Mount Terra, but it's uh, it's like a volcano. The truant twins. Oh, truancy, like truant officers and stuff. Yeah, apparently, if you go to a mall and you're like a kid and you're supposed to be at school, they have like officers that sometimes are like called or just wandering around called truant officers. And they're like, hey, you're supposed to be in school. That's what I've heard anyways. I don't know if that's actually how it goes down. I imagine someone just gets a phone call and then they're, they're like, hey, there's some kids here. They probably shouldn't be here. It's... Oh, it's square, probably. Okay. That's not bad. There's good damage. It, it's free. As long as our uh, charge gauge goes up really fast, it's not really that big of a deal. And it looks cool. Now... That's Hydro Blast. We can put those geysers out. That'll be useful later, I'm sure. Are these just containers? Yeah. These are the same enemies we've been fighting since the beginning, so these ones are just really weak. They will get stronger. The devs might have put them here just to give us a chance to try out Counter Strike. Sorry, Counter Attack. Counter Strike sounds cooler. IMO. Okay, new skill. Okay, we can get that. We're gonna charge up. 
New technique. Double cross. Power of a tic-tac-toe into enemies. Okay, so this is like an upgrade of that last one we got. Oops. Sorry, dude. These are ninja ninja roids, so they are androids. Don't feel bad for them. They do not have a soul from what we're aware. aware. Just high-powered AI. You guys saw that. Um, what was it? 10X, 1X? They're like a company. And probably got I've probably got the wrong name there, but they, this company is showing humanoid robots. They're planning on trying to get them in everyone's house for like in the next 10 years, which is cool. I think it's doable. Or sorry, not everyone's house, but I think it's doable for getting it into people's houses to have the money and want them. But it's just it looks like a robot in a tracksuit. It, it just looks hilarious. I think most people don't have space for a robot. Most people's houses are pretty full. Floor space is being utilized by humans. But I can see a lot of rich people getting them. Okay, this guy's got a skill for us. I don't know if it's going to be that one. This oh, I, I thought I hit it. I want, okay, I want that skill. It looks cool. Do the thing, man. Oh, I hit, I hit, okay. I double hit square. I have to hit square and then uh, duplicate the technique by hitting um, the combination of buttons that would be used to actually use it. So in this case, it's, whoops. In this case, it's circle. have to wow I'm not doing too good I'll get it I'll get it do the thing bro new technique learned whirling dervish Two lunging circular strikes with both swords. That's cool. It's a little slow. I don't know if that leaves us too open. Which path should I take? Alright, this is the treasure path. This was the correct path to go. 1930. Who decided on that number? Oh well, money's money. Steam vents. In the last level, those steam vents took almost all my health. Very bad at steam vents. Very impatient when I play video games, dep depending on the game. A lot of games, so I, I, I like being able to move forward fast. What does Sonic say? Gotta go fast. Try to keep up. I, uh, I don't know if I would actually want to play those games again, but I definitely bought the Sonic Ready to uh, Battle or, or Adventure Ready to Battle on Steam when it came out. Uh, those were big games of my childhood. Sonic Adventure 2 Ready to Battle. My brother had the DX or Sonic Adventure 1 DX Director's Cut. Both very good games. Loved the Chow Garden. Played a lot of those when I was a kid. I saw someone do like a review of the game and they essentially said the only reason people still talk about it is nostalgia and they went over why. I don't know. I think even today my kid brain would like it.
Oh, nice. I pushed it in. Is that everything? A lot of layers to this level. Yeah, that chest is open, but the... No, that's a rock. I thought there was a container. Okay, this is one of the cooler levels. Very nicely laid out. Very vertical, too. And I'm not sure if it's the hardware I'm on, but there's no, there's not really any lag. The other one had frame lag, and I seem to recall, like I said in the last stream, my buddy and I on the PS3 had issues with it. Just having a little bit of frame drops. I think it's because they have so many characters on screen that are just drilling. That's about us. Chopping from the legs. Give him an Irish kneecap. For reference, in the Troubles, if you were like a traitor <laughs> to the Protestants or the Catholics, they'd kneecap you. I won't go graphic into it. But my father grew up in the Troubles. He did not kneecap anyone and he was never kneecapped. He just told me about this. And I have looked out, I've looked into it because I wanted to know what my dad was growing up in and I, I'm like, wow, that's pretty fucked. The Troubles uh, was the North and South Ireland. They had a civil war and then the Troubles was essentially in the 1960s afterwards when they made a ceasefire. If I'm understanding correctly, the tensions were still high, so there was a lot of protests and people like hated each other. And that's normal after civil wars, because you know, after a civil war, you still live beside those people. And you know, some of them killed your family or like someone you knew or like people that were big people in your community, so you're not a fan. Very fortunate to be alive in Canada in this day and age. What is up with this? That's a creature. That's a thing. Do I need skills, bro? No, useless. Don't talk to me unless you got skills. Oh, if I hit him with the water sword, he like does a water deteriorate. Does that happen to everyone? Flash damage. Yeah, maybe the earth sword does the same. We gotta check that out now. I had no idea. Instead, I don't have mana problems. Now I'm out, almost out of mana. So it's a good thing we got that ice cream. Okay, let's cut this guy in half and see if he does earth stuff. He's gonna fall. We gotta give him space. Come on. Come on, ninja. No, no, don't fall. He crumples to earth, but I think that's kind of really similar to the first one, at least visually. The, the water one actually had like a cool water effect. A fire blanket. That reduces fire damage. So as you can imagine, that would be useful, but we have our luck thing, and I like luck. So if we have struggles with the boss, we'll equip it. The description for what luck does is it's just things go your way. It was something like that. So I assume just like containers getting open uh, and we need health. They might give us more health, maybe. Better drops, more crits, you know, typical luck stuff. I think the effect is way more prevalent with the water. 
that was a robot we couldn't have, so maybe it doesn't count, but I'm just going to switch to water. I think we get the idea. Well. I mean, it says reduce fire damage. It doesn't expect me to jump across this, does it? Now we have to equip it. Reduces fire damage, but this is this is not fire. This is this is lava. Yeah, no, we <laughs> we just get eight. Well. Possible we have to go down somewhere. We were over there. We came around. That's where the salamanders were. We went up here. We came across here. The earth sword could be the answer. We could have to knock down this boulder. I doubt it. Okay, it looks like it does build up on the side, so we have to jump down, I believe, and go around. This doesn't seem correct, but it's better than standing around doing nothing. Because we went up both ways. Oops. Uh, I feel I'm feeling so much better now. Uh, I had uh, allergies for the last like weekend, and my throat has just been like killing me the last couple times. Not killing me in pain, but like just being raspy, and I've had to clear my throat like a hundred times. So I, I'm I feel like I'm better able to talk today. I'm not sniffling. My nose is clear again. Feels good to be able to breathe like a hundred percent. Don't develop allergies. Especially not the ragweed. That stuff grows everywhere. And it is just brutal. Okay, so we're on this side now. This is a... We're gonna drain it. So we had the right idea to destroy some boulder, but it, we just didn't have the boulder. Or not. No? Yeah. That was it. Now it's a jumping contest. Jump puzzle. Compassion punch. I believe that increases our strength for something. There are always there are always types of Oh, it's gonna make us go around. It's fine. There are always uh, the the punches and stuff, they're always some type of stat booster. Just temporarily. Which I really like because I like when games have I like when games have things, here you can see increases strength by 10, uh, increases defense by 10. When games have things that allow you to make, how would you say, like un unorthodox into terms of you wouldn't normally use that during a game, like during gameplay, but then during like a boss or like when you want to like see how much damage you can do, you just string all these things together like in another crab's treasure, for example, there's a skill that allows you to um, hit them to increase the next attack or something, or the next couple damages. Then there's a red solo cup that gets rid of your ability to dodge very well and increases your da damage dramatically. And then you can get a, a, a shell to put on your fork to make a club. And then you just build pure attack and then you get like whatever else and you just hit. I was able... I. I had the footage, but I got rid of it. That was probably a mistake, but I was able to like three shot one of the bosses and I just felt really good about it. Just because I, 
I did something where I actually looked at looked at what the options were and I stacked them. Stacking stuff. That was a tight squeeze. Hoso Maki. Thanks for getting me out. I gotta get back to making onigiri. You know, stuffed rice balls. Fresher and more fulfilling than your average sandwich. One taste and you'll be hooked. Yeah, listen, I used to date a Korean girl and she used to make me onigiris. That is good stuff. Those were delicious. But anyways, I like when games let you combo stuff like that. Oh, crap. Because some games are a little too, like... They're too, like, just normal. You know, like in Final Fantasy VII, how you can get the... I think they're called Hero Elixirs, and you just spam them. And then you put them on Vincent or Barrett, and they don't have the damage cap. So you can one-shot things. Stuff like that. That's what I'm kind of trying to get at. Like, I like when games have that type of stuff built in. I'm not saying this game's going to let us do that ex exactly, but... I am going to try to spam punch and see how many times they stack. If it only lets us use one at a time, that's lame. If it only stacks once, that's lame. But what can you do? I'm also going to see if there's any other damage increasers. Maybe something like after you do a guard. If they have anything like that, like you guard and then the next attack does double damage. And then you spam those punches that do plus 10 strength. That would be a cool thing. Uh, sorry, was there something down here? What is that? It's just a purple wall. Okay, we'll move on. It's magic of some sort. Excuse me. Okay. We're gonna have to drop down. Oh, we'll just ride this down? Is that how we're rolling? No. How do I play that? No. I don't want to lose too much health. There's gotta be a way to... Do I just jump at the last second? I'll, I need to observe. Definitely not. Okay, that's the one we're supposed to hop across. I just need to see if we can... Does it blow up? It's gonna blow up as well, doesn't it? Yeah. So this probably gets lowered as well. Okay, let's, let's just take this. He's gone. When they fall, we don't get the stuff, I don't believe. I don't think we get to reach this, the the uh, pickup distance to get those orbs. We really need those mana orbs right now. Oops. Jump that one a little too early. Got it. Or maybe we get a skill that allows us to go through the lava somehow. I don't know. I don't want to leave that chest because it might have some of the legend. Come on. Why are you doing me like that? It could have some legendary equipment in it. We can always come back.
Oh. Those guys are cool. It's highly unlikely they're androids, so those are actual entities we're killing. So we do feel bad for them. Not the androids, though. Can we go? No. Let's see if we can maybe go down through there. Would be nice if there is a way to drain mana. Or to get mana back as we attacked. Something like that. Galvabot kit. Well, what the heck is that? That's a key item, isn't it? A grand a Gandrake invention that mass produces Galvabots. Well, hell, that's an interesting thing. So I don't, I don't think we can get that thing right now. There was that purple door. We probably have to come back and break that barrier, and then that'll drain the lava or something. So we'll just move on. Or maybe the fire sword lets us do something. Got some mana. Yes, you do. Sorry, mystical power. It's not mana in this. It's mystical power. Right, I remember this area. Just a little bit, but I remember it. Use some more damage, I think. Hey, let's get some more damage. Lucky us. Speak of the devil. Let's go. Okay, so they don't have their water effect, so when we did the great ore, we actually could not test that. Okay, this is gonna be. Yeah, I think if there was a quid criticism of Brave Fencer Musashi is sometimes I didn't feel like we used the scrolls very much. It seemed like we used them for the boss fight, and then at the end there was that calendar puzzle where we really used them. But in this game, it feels like we're actually going to be using the two swords, the, or all the different swords in conjunction. At least that's what we've been doing so far. The earth one and the water one have been switched out a couple times. I like that. Powerful. Feeling good. I'm gonna switch to the Great Ore. I wanna see if it has any type of effect. Whoops. No, it's just exactly the same as the Earth one. Let's get the water one back. We'll probably have to switch to the Earth one actually. There probably is gonna be more of those rocks to knock down. Some steel parts. Oh, maybe there was something to knock down for that chest that was in the last area. Maybe we screwed up there. Trixie, yeehaw. I'm Trixie, I'll wait tables at Pepper's Grill. Pepper's Grub will pump you up if you can get it down. Locals love it. Okay, Trixie, thank you. Some of them are like, you saved me, Musashi, thank you. Others are like, hi, I'm Trixie, come down at the, this is where I work. Come on down. Reminds me a lot about Spyro. You know, going around and rescuing the dragons. 
I love that game. The first one. I, sorry, I love all of them, but the, it reminds me of the first one. But if you played Spyro, you knew that. I think in the second one, you get orbs, and the third one, you get eggs. Like something felt really good about rescuing the dragons from their stone form and having them do some dialogue. Okay, we missed a... Okay, we're getting there. We gotta go past this first. This doesn't look safe. This is not safe. We can just hop though. Okay, so some of those floors are good. Some of them are not, but hopping seems to work. Step on one, does the other go up? Yes. So, if we Hydro Blast that, it's stuck. And that allows us to jump up. Okay, now we can get that chest. Solved. Easy. Easy peasy. Magic alloy, okay. I think that might be enough to upgrade our katana. Now we gotta do the reverse here. Okay, I like that. Good puzzle, didn't have to think too hard, but still had to think. a checkpoint so this might be the boss we've come pretty far the the levels don't seem super like long but they're very vertical uh, okay this is probably the i think we're coming up on the boss soon oh who's this guy bro brokio bro oh like pinocchio brokio <laughs> i'm none other than brokio manager of the troop brokio what, you've never heard of us? We're a troop of tr troba, troba, do troba, troba dollars? Trobadors? Once we're all together, we'll stage spectacular extravaganzas. Cool. How many would that be? That would be a few people. Let's use this. Cool. I like the crosscut, I think, better for the slice and dice, the checkered thing. Well, that's nice for big groups of enemies, so we'll keep it. We already do a ton of damage just attacking. Oh, what is that? Got him. Oh, that's an enemy. Oh, we got that guy too. Okay, he's got a skill for us. Um, that was Counter Strike, but I swear that shouldn't have happened. That should have just given us the skill, right? Okay. Oh, that must be the wrong thing then. That's well, not that. Maybe I'm pressing it a little too late. Okay, so that is it. So we have to be careful now, because if they hit us, 
Okay, so maybe we don't need to have learned a skill from them to duplicate. Oh, that's weird. Maybe the shield technique. Uh, I'm too uh, low on health to really screw around with that. Oh, well, this is simple as. Shoo. Shoo. I'm supposed to jump on this? Or is there a thing I put it on top of? No. Okay, I want to just jump on top. Yeah. this guy about getting the skill. It's got to be one of these two. Oh. Need some space for him. No. Oh. What are these things called? Oh, what? what? The heck is that? That almost got us. We had 5 HP left. I don't have time to play. Okay, that's that's what that's the that's the thing. No? Yes. Okay, we learned a new technique. Sanshin? Sanshin? Gradually expend MP to enhance defense. Turn it off. Okay. We gotta, we gotta be nice with this guy. Camera OP. See, if we didn't go to the dojo, that would have been more difficult. This is where that other skill... The Whirling Dervish? Dervish? Oh, I don't have enough mana to use it. So I missed a couple ones. Let's attack. Can't afford to leave them alive. Oh, that was the uh, to take the skill. I wanted to counter him. Oh, be cool, man! Be cool. Gotcha. Yeah, give me the health. Oh, it's too slow. I don't have mana now. Give me items. I, I don't know if that was worth or not. Like, did we gain more than we lost there, or did they just destroy us? I don't think they do a lot of damage. Okay, we can definitely climb up this at some point. It looks climbable. I think I should heal. These guys are no joke. As soon as you turn your back to them, they attack. Oh, not the crab guys, the 
Well, they all do, but these little puff balls. I think they're like suit, suit demons. Okay, so I can switch the swords from there, but I wanted to get this. I'm just gonna chuck them off the side. <laughs> Fuck them. Was he immune? Oh, that's not fair. Oh, I used it way too soon. Oh, we almost died. Not doing too good. I'm losing a lot of health out here. You guys are mine. Just put some distance. Okay, we gotta jump up this. Gotta be careful here. Great not. So bad. Oh, I can't knock him off. Assuming we're gonna need both. No? Well, what's the second one for? Oh, if we don't need it, that's fine. Fine with me. Maybe in case we dropped it, maybe it'll give us two, tri two tries before it respawns it. He got hit by the steam, what a loser. <laughs> They're getting hit by the steam, what losers. The steam is our friend. Whoops. Never mind, we hate the steam. <laughs> oh. Level up already. We just leveled up. These guys must be giving a hella XP. to mess this all up. Oh, I wasn't sure if I was going to make that one. That one was really close. Bringing this in there. <laughs> Outsmarted. Outplayed. Yep. That's our strategy. Put a rock in front of them and then help them, help them get steamed. Come on, bro. I'm just right here. This guy's tough. Oh, he's not taking any damage, that's why. I 
should stick to the rock strategy. Is there like a limit to how much enemies can take damage? Did the devs think of this? It seems like it was doing a ton of damage before, and now it's like not viable. Okay, I gotta heal yet again. So that's all our healing items used. Let's go more... Let's go duplicating. Just so we don't have to charge up forever. Because Counter-Strike is super useful now. Or super useful so we can just charge with that focus faster. Oh no. That was close. Oops. No. No, jump. A lot of enemies. Same shame if I was to cheese them. An acceptable uh, reduction in their numbers. Okay, we've got to be getting close to the boss. I'm a little worried. I'm out of uh, healing items. Yep. Yep. That contraption, I remember it. Got a lot of enemies here. This guy's sneaking up on us. Wrong move. Wrong move, pal. Okay, uh, two paths. Both look a little challenging. I think I'll go this way. I'll just try to show everyone show, show everyone where the edge is. Let's charge up for this guy. That's, a, that, that's how we're intended to defeat them. So we don't even have to hit them with the main sword. If we just like clip them, they take tons of damage. Oh, I didn't count it right. I'm just gonna leave him. Oh, there's a chest over here. There might be one on the other side. Okay, if we don't have a ton of health, maybe it's smarter if we just like move on. Like instead of fighting, every, instead of fighting every dude. Oh, they can't be knocked off. I jumped over that guy, I was instantly reminded of uh, Dead Rising 1, how you can zombie walk. Because I am looking forward to the Dead Rising 1 remake. That's another one of my favorite games is Dead Rising, for sure. Okay, there's no chest over here. 
We'll just work our way up. Like, skipping enemies is nice, but uh, honestly, we should get the XP. I don't want to, I don't care for those bell things. But I guess if we're here. No, see, that's. Let me move on. about to cut us. Okay, let's go see the maidens. Let's rescue them and get the fire sword. Which I'm, I'm starting to think that fire sword might be where that purple... Oh, there's only one of them. It's supposed to be twins. That purple barrier is probably behind that. Hang in there. I'll get you out. What does this device even do? Hey there, tell me how this works. <laughs> what a pinhead! Don't you know we're enemies? No way am I going to tell you that. What's your... Oh, I get it. You don't know either. Ha, I do too. I run this place. I'm Riesling, director of uh, uh, security for Gandrake. I'm wicked popular! Wow! So you're the man! Props to you, dude! That's so cool! <laughs> yeah, I guess. So you must know all about this machine! They're having a bro moment or something. This? It's a pyroclastic uh, a modulator. They would be friends if they weren't on opposing sides. machine is supposed to use the maiden's powers to stop the volcano. Interesting. Really? So they do describe it. Nah, I'd forget about it if I were you. It won't work. Haven't you heard? There are two maidens of fire, and you need both of them to do anything. You can't fool me. Maiden magic is plenty powerful. What do we need two of them for? All right, people. Fire it up. Uh-oh. What was that? Hey, what's going on? I don't know. It's out of control. The core power is going haywire. We may have miscalculated. Exit. What's that roar? Guess we've woken up the beast. We're out of here. I'm leaving cleanup duty to you. So you're a maiden of fire? That's right. My name's Mirabel. Who are you? I'm Musashi. Whoa, you're Musashi? I wasn't expecting someone so young and handsome. Hmm, yes, you'll do nicely. What? Are you okay? She talks better than the other maidens. Yep, I'm fine. See, I can't use my maidenly powers unless Maribo is with me. 
I'll bet that's why that machine didn't work. Yeah, you may be right. So where is she? Who knows? They carted her off somewhere without a word. Hmm. I'll check up on her as soon as I can. First, let's get you home. Okay. Oh, no. I can't take a single step. Are you serious? Honest. I feel so drained from that terrible machine they stuck me in. Help me out, would you? Please? Oh, all right. Buckle up and get ready for the ride of your life! Yay! Okay, this will roll. I guess we'll leave the other one until we come back. Yeah, that is so much damage. I'll go get this easy XP. That's her kicking them, pretty much. <laughs> Boom. Near the maiden of fire. Pick her up and throw her into the sky. And do that. Oh, damn. It wasn't as fast as I thought. Oh, well, I still got most of them. I guess we have to- oh no, we don't have to take her back to the start, just there. Okay, that's useful. Whoops. And when we come back here, we'll probably unlock that barrier. But don't you have something to say? I'm sorry, Mrs. Tilsit. We can't hear you. I wonder if that's her daughter or something. They have red hair. I'm sorry, Miss Tilsit. I mean, you think she would say mom, but, you know, might be a class thing. We've been worried sick. Where's your sister? They both have red eyes, too. Well, orange is red. The men from Gandrake took her away. Oh, dear. Oh, boy, he's teaching us here, but... Yes, please do. Yeah, there's no way they're related. Scratch that. Mirabo, you may be a maiden of fire, but you're still just a child. Promise you'll, me you'll stay out of danger. Yes, Mrs. Tilsit, I'll steer clear of danger. Good girl, then... This is all just water under the bridge. Now, I want you to write a 10-page essay titled There's No Place to Be Called. Wait, didn't you just say there's water under the bridge? That was my... That was mercy. This is my discipline. Ah. Thank you so much, Musashi. This incident... Incident has reminded me what it means to be a teacher. Well, they say there's no better way to learn than to be a teacher. Exactly. Very true. That reminds me. We've always been told this should go to a hero in a time of crisis. I'm not sure what this is for, but I want you to have it. I'm sure it'll come in handy. I'd say it fit you to a description. A pair of huge gloves. You know what that's going to be? That's going to be climbing. Because there was also that climbing thing. 
You listen to your teacher, got it? I'll do my best. You better. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, let's save the sister. Wait, will she give us a ring? No, no, we don't have the sword yet. Um, We get the ring from the princess when we get a side quest about some angler thing. So I'm assuming we get the rings from the other princesses around the same time. Oh, Pepper's Grill is opened up. Let's get those appraisals done, though, because we have all those rocks in our inventory, and that's kind of silly. Uh, we can also invent some stuff. Now, I think there's a limited amount of items you have for this. Because you get them from chests. So I don't know if you can miss stuff if you do a bad combination. Uh, invent me something. Last time we did uh, three iron parts. And it still lets us do that, so it's possible that that's a mistake. I think I saw iron and steel was one. So this might be something I need a guide for, or else I need to do like another run if I want everything. Not that I, not that I'm completing it, doing completionist. Eureka! I've done it again. Hard work, great talent, and a little luck always pays off in the end. The pressure cooker. Right, that's the one I wanted. I, I thought it was mithril and steel. Glad I'm glad I put that in. Um, that's the dojo. No, that's the arena. We'll go to the arena later. Need to buy more bread. That's the restaurant. We didn't appraise those rocks. Dang it. We also have to appraise the thing that let us climb, actually, so we can't leave. I don't think we have Pepper. Okay, so it's just Trixie? Welcome to Pepper's Grill, home of the hottest food this side of the Amphidon. We're hoping to offer delivery service soon. Yep, just as it says the same stuff. Nothing good. Nothing important. Yeah, so I think I might look up a list for that. Always a pleasure. What'll it be today? Onigiri. I'll just do this HP. I was hoping to do both. That's actually cheaper. Um, it's 950 for 100 for the other one. Let's get eight of, eight of those suckers. I didn't use the MP stuff, but I'm going to check if our ice melted. Our dry ice. Wait, how many slots do we have? I thought... Does it just keep going? No. No, there's no way. Unlimited inventory space? Yeah, right. Like we'd be so lucky. Oh, it's him. Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Part of my troop is still missing. I can't put a show on without them. Please, rescue the rest of the troop. It will be booed and ridiculed mercilessly if we don't give our audience the full show. Okay. Can we do it, man? Ah, we need four. Okay, yeah, we do have four. Okay, so I think it's four levels of the katana. It's four or five. Yeah, it'll be six for the next one and then eight for the last one. And then that's two plus four is six plus six is 12 plus eight is 20. And there's 20 mithril. So there's probably that amount. So do you need six? Yeah. So there's going to be four upgrades, so there's five katana levels. The first one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Got it. Solved. Okay, let's go appraise. Then after we rescue the other maiden, we might have to grab the sword. So we might have to go back to that area twice. Or three times in total. Unless it's good to bundle the sword with the maiden. Now we can just uh, get that all done. I'm not sure if the side quests will just like we'll just stumble on them just because we need to use these services, or if we're gonna have to hunt them out. Okay, where's the rock? Refined. You found a paperweight. 
Lovely. Uh, I also looked it up and it didn't seem... Valuable gem. It didn't seem that these items... I kept some of them because I thought maybe I would give them to the uh, people. But it doesn't seem that's the case. It seems it's the inventions that actually are given to people. The Gecko Gloves let you scale certain types of surfaces. That's one of the legendary armor, he said. This rare and precious object, use it with utmost care. Yeah, see, oh no, because uh, I'm going to keep them. Just in case. Because the pressure cooker, we can give to someone, I know that. I know we invented that, so it doesn't really count as an appraisal item, but still. I don't want to miss out on side quests. Or rather, I don't want to talk to a person and then be like, Oh, I wish someone loved me, and we sold the love letter. Brutal. Okay, let's rest, save, and then we'll go. Where do we get these cards? We don't have a single card yet. Maybe it's from the arena. I'm yawning a lot. I think what I need to do to improve this stream, by the way, um, sorry, I'd have to stop saying, um, I might need a fill light. It's, I, I looked this up. It's like a fill light. Because every time I switch screens, the lighting from the monitor switches the camera's lighting. So the quality kind of goes uh, down those. I mean, I don't think it's that obnoxious. Obnoxious. Uh, but I keep saying not. But it would improve just the consistency. Because some of these maps turn my face very red. I've been rewatching the VODs to try to like improve just the stream quality. Uh, usually there's like a... Like we can't go here. I'm missing something. I got the gloves. The academy, I have to go to the academy. Hmm. Okay. To my left. I seem to recall there is like a new game plus of this one. Mrs. Tilsit, you'd stay put. And don't you have an essay to write? Yeah, but I think they're keeping Maribel there. Really? You will? Oh, Musashi, you're the best. Wait, what makes you think she's at Nebulium Tower? I saw her in my mind. Four twins. And we know when the other's in trouble. <sighs> Please go find Maribel. I'm sure she's at Nebulium Tower. Yeah, twin studies, if you look up the psychology of twin studies, or like, not just psychology, just studies in general of twins, it's pretty crazy. There does seem to be like some psychic link sometimes. Ha! Better than chance. There's also studies that have shown that people can like do telepathy, or what was it? Um, not uh, and telepathy like in uh no clairvoyance clairvoyance this is the wrong room there's been people who have shown that they can like see what other people are seeing the studies are better than chance so it's in fact they're pretty like unbelievable when you see them so it's interesting stuff ah uh, musashi I think it's like Larry Persinger, Dr. Persinger. I think he's deceased now. Uh, his theory is something about the magnetic field of Earth can connect people through like resonating a frequency. There's a couple different professors and doctors who think that stuff, scientists. Search the mind, no thanks. I believe this is after the motorcycle. 
but we will be biking. Yeah, so we'll get this and I'll head back to the volcano and then we'll be able to get the sword. These guys were so, uh, so much stronger than them now. It feels good going back to old areas and just being like a boss. Domination. Okay, so this bike mini game, we get rewards for doing well. And I didn't do super well the first time. I don't think it's anything major, but it's like a thing. Maybe it's a card. If we get all of them, we probably get like a super reward. We can do this. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Try to drop this heavy attack just in case. Oh, that made us miss. Whoops. Get near perfect. Oh, that's two. Did we just one shot everything, anyways? Oh, well, what's the point then? <laughs> Look at it walk. Oh, we, sh we so could get perfect. This isn't that bad. We only messed up because I wanted to charge. Should be a boss coming up now. At least very soon. But we will charge for him. Yeah, here he is. He's gonna do his little pipe bombs. But he's not gonna walk behind him. Oh, he throws him sideways. So our actual damage, so this is why it's so much easier, because our damage actually comes over. Because the first time we did this, it took like 100 hits. Um, and now it took like two. A charge hit and a normal one, and it's probably because our katana is better. And our level. But that's very interesting. Makes me want to replay Final Fantasy VII. But the, do I replay the original or the the remake? I'm, I won't, I don't, I'm, I'm not saying on stream. That would, there's too many other games I want to do on stream before I get there. And I'd play Final Fantasy VIII before seven. Just saying. I, there's something about eight that just charmed me as a kid and as an adult. I love seven, but eight is like. He eats, eats my jam. I don't care what people say about it. All their, all their criticism about the draw system and the junction system. 
Oh, this guy's green. Ooh. That, I want that skill. What is it? Diving Falcon. Okay. I missed. Wait, 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 here he is. Okay, that worked too. Oh, his head came off. That's savage. Okay. Do I have to lock on for it to be accurate, or is it just that skill thing? I wonder. <laughs> it is. A, it is a lock thing. I think. It goes straight for the head. That's brutal. That's a savage one. Level up. Uh, let's get. Uh, let's decide on our own and let's go luck. What's up, bro? I learned it from you. It's a good chunk of gold. How much damage this does? Cut a hole in them. I wouldn't say that's like a great use of mono, but it's pretty good. Compared to the other circle buttons, it's pretty strong. Yeah, I'd say that's a good skill. It's the white ninjas. They were the cross dice. They're not going to cause us any trouble. They're pretty weak. Uh, unless I can't attack properly. My skill set was there. My my skills with the blader need work. There we are. Grim square. Oh, hey, this was new. Did I miss that last time? Oh, this is a different thing now. I regret jumping down before exploring all of the top fan. Wait, what am I talking about? That's a bloody ladder. I just climb back up. Obviously. Oops. Oh, I can't just jump off, jump back on. One of the reasons I want to play the Metal Gear games is because there's apparently an infamous scene where you climb a ladder and it plays like a sound or so, uh, a music theme and you you climb for like 10 like you know three five minutes and it's, it's apparently a really epic scene i want to go around before i jump down Yeah, I'm enjoying this game. I think this game is actually pretty good. As, mu as much as I like compare it to Brave Fencer and like kind of shit on it in that way, by itself, I think it is a pretty like solid game. I like the adventure. The soundtrack's pretty like, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with it. The enemies are cool. The duplicating skills is cool. The swords are cool. Collecting um, the cards is probably really cool. Reminds me of like Digimon World 1. The Characters are cool. I would say the 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 folk it, the gameplay itself is pretty cool. Or I keep saying cool. It's pretty solid. 
the first couple bosses gave me some like issues of like the like when I was allowed to hit them. It seemed a little like weird. Uh, but the other bosses have all been pretty fair. And actually pretty epic. Especially that drill golem. I thought that drill golem was cool. Iron parts. Oh, this is the gecko thing. Okay, well, let's go around here first. So we actually climb like a gecko. I wish the equipment showed up on Musashi's uh, character model. That would be awesome. But I guess these little green pads will suffice. Um, that's just a dead end. No, that goes over. So we have to choose. That thing has a machine gun and it's coming towards us. That thing has a machine gun and it's right behind us. Luckily, it's not smart enough to hit us. It needs to get at least Chachi BD5 to get that. Ooh, okay, so this is a cluster. I can't move the camera around. Um, so I'm just going to have to assume that this connects to the other side. Where we were. No, it goes up higher. Uh, I don't like that because I can't tell if there's any chests unless I literally go all over the place. So I'm just not going to do that, I guess. I can't hit X to jump off. There's no way to jump off to, like, you know, get a better view. Uh, so we're going to have to eyeball this. Doesn't seem to go anywhere. I don't see any chests that we missed. Uh, hopefully we get a more views around the tower. Seems pretty straightforward. Okay. Okay, we don't get knocked off if we get hit. That's nice. Um, there's another split in the path here. That's fine. I would very much have liked to be able to move the camera and maybe like leap off to check stuff. is it but I just need to have a little look see don't think we missed anything it's quite possible we missed something but I don't think that we missed something just gonna have a quick a quick peek around all these lower floors I think just the scaling and going to the sides and then scaling back up and down kind of made it feel like there's a lot more than um, I thought. But I feel like we did get everything. And now there's this nice little thing here. And I actually think we'll be taking the maiden down this elevator. So we'll come back here. Oh, it's an artist. Oh, a newspaper guy. A writer. Reporter. I'm Talege Talegio. Talagio. Reporter for Anthedon Times. You know the local paper? I'm so eager for a scoop. Some people think I'm pushy, but the public's got a right to know. Nice. The public, they have a right to know. 
right to know what. No, uh, God bless those people who are in like all these different war zones doing reporting and journaling. Whatever you, it, it's reporting. It, the stuff you get from like on the ground reporters versus the news is crazy. Point number two. This theme sounds, dare I say, dra Dragon Questy. I'm Musashi. Mirabo told me about you. Oh, so you're the one the princess summoned. Is Mirabo alright? Very village esque. Oh yeah, she's safe and sound back home. Thank I like this one. Goodness. Let's get you out of here. Not so fast. We can't leave without the princess. Say what? How do you know she's here? Because they brought us here together. Great! That saves me a trip! Alright, let's go rescue her! Uh, Maribo, can you walk? Of course. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. I'll carry you, alright? We had to pick up every maiden so far. Thanks. All right. Okay, let's roll. So the princess is still here. Or they just... We rescued her and then they just brought her back. That's pretty bold of them. Put her in the last place that they'll suspect. Exactly pretty much where they found her the first time. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll go floor by floor. Is this the ladder place? Yes, it is. So, if there's a pipe at the end there, that confirms this is where... Because that could just be another ladder, right? Yeah? Let's check the map. Um, I think it wants us to go... So, we were on those floors, so I think we just will exit from the red zone here. And see if that triggers some type of cutscene. Because I'm pretty certain we went down the ladder, went to that floor. And then we went down to the bottom and did the rest. So we'll just take her out of here. You can't go back yet. Never mind. I guess we're going down. Oops. I wasn't trying to throw her off the side. I was going to go like, woo. I accidentally hit triangle. and Yeah, that would have been a disaster if she fell. What floor should I go to? The very bottom? Or does it mean she's in this tower thing? Like this very structure. I guess that's what she means, right? So she must be on one of the floors. Oh, well, we'll try the very bottom. Because I think we spent the least amount of time here. And there is like a little cranny a gray box. Oh wait, there's an actual thing over there. I know it's a ladder. I was looking at that on the mini map. There's like a circle. I was maybe assuming that was there, but there's this gray box over here. This might be it. Or is that the elevator we just got out of? That was the elevator we just got out of. Unless she was on the second floor and we just had to go up somewhere, how? Huh? 
Like it unlocked the elevator for us, right? So why are we... I, I don't know. Unless it did end. So it must be the same floor. There must be like an exit that I just missed. Then we'll have to come back. Because we can only carry so many maidens at once. This is where she came from, I believe. Zero four, or zero H zero. Okay, so there must have been another door. Dang it. Oh, hold on. That that red that red circle is back. I, but it's it's more it's more uh, it's darker now. Is this a thing? Uh, let's put the map on. What what is that circle? That's the exit? But it said we can't go that way. Okay, so the inner ring, the third floor, that's the top. So that the, the gray box is the elevator. So the w first floor actually has another uh, thing entirely. Same with the basement. So we'll go to the first floor. It must be there. Okay, I, I see where we're going. I got, I got a little lost. My bad. My bad. Let's go get this. To the first floor, yeah, 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 yeah. No, okay, this is it, this is the exit. How did I miss this? We can't go back yet. Okay. Do I have to ditch her? Is that... Okay, that's maybe where I'm confused. Maybe I have to ditch her. I just assumed that I had to bring her with me. But I think it is that... Um, I don't know. The elevator may allow us to scale up a different side because we may not have had access to one of the floors. Uh, sorry, we had access to the floor, but maybe not this side because there's those pipes, um, at least at the bottom. Don't want to leave the maiden too far away. That could be a thing. Okay, forget her. Okay, never mind. I guess she's coming with. Let's check out the bottom floor again. That looks like a thing. Oh, wait, hold on. No, that's upwards. Let's go around. That's a long distance. I may not have walked this on foot first time. I should have went to that exit and just placed her at the door. I recall a broken railing, but... Sorry, kid, you're on your own. I'm tired of carrying her around. No, it's this way. 
the uh, entrance is this way. Yeah, this is it, I think. Okay, if it's not this one, then it's the one above. Because there's another one. What floor? I think it was on floor one. See how it goes in there? So it's getting to the other side where the pipe is. Or where the pipe is not. So I'm going to scale up again. Yeah. This one's a little confusing for me. Actually, last time I did this this way, I took a right here, so I'll take the left here. I'm pretty sure I took the right here. And hopefully this isn't just a dead end. No, it is a thing. And it brings us here. Okay, I feel like this is progress. Um, we're trying to get around the pipe, so we'll just keep going left whenever we can. Okay, this seems to be the move, because this is new. I can't attack when I'm on this, by the way. Yeah, definitely can't attack. just where we were? I looped. Okay. No, that wasn't the path. This is the way we were before, so this is actually probably a waste of time. We'll, we'll commit, though, just in case. Because it'll still bring us up before anyways, and we might find like a secret. Not secret, but you know, like a, a drop-off point. Don't think it'll be down there. Try to get off the glass as soon as possible. And we can't just hit X to jump off. We're, we're committed until we find a way to land. just where we were before I don't I don't like the gecko gloves right now this is fine it's fine I think I'm just wasting time here I should just look around on the elevator after I I, I explored a path we didn't take before but it seems to me it's very clear it just loops around so I have a feeling we're not going to find anything. So I'm going to try to just climb to the top again. This is new because there's a jump. It does bring us across the pipe. Maybe this is it. 
Yeah, because if we can land here, that is the floor I was trying to get to. I just needed to drop down into that section, because that's the last one. So we're not going to go up, we're going to go to the right. Try to drop down, nope. Unfortunately, we're not going to drop down. Can we drop down? Dead end. We were here before. Okay. So it is just going to bring us at, uh, back to that spot. There is no alternative path. It's just loopy. We just got lucky the first time that we uh, took the right path. Okay. We should be near the end, though. Oh, you know what suck? If I needed the maiden in my hands when I went to the basement floor and approached that door for the door to open. That's probably 100% what's up. So that's what we're going to do next. Okay, find maiden. Can't take the elevator? No, no, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't make me glass my way down. It's gonna make us glass all our way down. Okay. No. Fuck. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. This is, this is, this is not gameplay. I, I feel like we, you know how like in the mines where we had to go up to that gate and I didn't know what to do and then I looked it up and I had to go up to the gate and press X. I think we needed the maiden in our hands and then we needed to press X. Can I drop down? I didn't make, oh no, I didn't make the jump. No, Musashi, we didn't make the jump, just fall. Yes, we're not making the jump. There we are. Uh, the maiden was on the other floor. So we'll take her, get down here somewhere. Uh, we have to find the elevator, actually, because we need the elevator to move the maiden up and down. Actually, did I hit exit this door? Yes. Whoops, we've drowned. Uh, I am going to be back in a second, though. Apologies for leaving at the middle of this riveting moment. Be back.
Hello, one second here. Return, I'm just gonna move this coffee over here. I've prepared it for later. Okay. And I'm back. Okay, let's figure this shit out. I am done with this hole. Find the maiden, pick her back up, take the elevator, come back down to this floor and see if it opens for us now. Because that's probably what the issue was. There she is. So that means the elevator is on this floor. Oh, it's not that way. I think a lot of newer games have solved the how to progress through a level issue. But some of these older games, like like I was saying about that gate in the mine area, there's like some un, like not necessarily obvious way to advance the plot. Excuse me. So if this works, I'll be a little upset. By little, I mean I'll forget instantly and move on. It was over here. I mean, to, the, to be fair, Musashi should be punished if he leaves the girl on the ground by herself in this enemy territory. So I can see how it wouldn't let you progress for doing that. Okay, please open. Yeah, see, we needed her. But can she walk on her own? Nice to see you again. Musashi, you've saved me twice now. Your Highness. I'm fine, Maribo. It comes with the territory. Looks like Musashi found you first. They didn't hurt you, did they? No. Thank goodness. Musashi, I'm so glad you came. My pleasure, Princess. But let's hurry back to Anthium. They'll be stoked when they see who's coming. <laughs> They'd better be. Let's go. We're gonna teleport? Nice. Young Lord Musashi, how can we ever repay you for delivering our daughter from such peril? Your extraordinary valor inspires us all. Bless you, brave warrior. Ah, now you're making me blush. I knew I was right. You saved Maribo and Princess Mycela too. It really amazed me, Musashi. Now that Maribo's back, we can finally begin our semester. Yep. Remember, good pupil, always come from good teacher. What? You never lifted a paw. Hush, child. Ha 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 ha. Thank you, Masashi, for taking care of the village in my absence. Uh, we're so very proud of you. Uh, well, I was mostly doing it for myself. It's a weird thing to say to Masashi, we're so proud of you. Perhaps so, but we are still grateful for your help. Thank you. No problem, anytime. You make a good couple. Hey, cut that out. What matter? Your face go red, Musashi. No fair, he's mine. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, reading laughing text is always like, it's like, ha, ha, ha. ha. I think it would also be over the top to conjure up a laugh. Okay, uh. Okay, hey, Academy. So now we have to get the location of the sword. But first, we're gonna rest and save. I don't think we're gonna lose anytime soon, so it's not as important to save in this. Because every time we've died, it's given us a generous continue checkpoint. It doesn't just be like, oh, last save. Okay, how far are we in? 
Seven hours in almost. So I think this is considered the halfway point. Maybe just breaching the halfway point. Like past it. Now we get the fire sword. Then we do the wind maiden. Get the wind sword. Then we do the final area. And I think there's a little bit of housekeeping. Some side quests and such. Where's that academy? All the way down here. We can talk to this journalist too. Wait, where is Okay. I'm just my... Oh yeah, he makes cards, doesn't he? If a magic cards are what you're looking for, you've come to the right guy. Care to check out my current sele selection? Yeah. Right, and there's actually like a thing. So these are 10% off, so we'll buy them. That was an expensive one. 75% off. 10% off or no deal. Sashi. Um, is this like a... What's the story? Do we sell him cards too? Yeah, so we can actually sell cards back to him. So if we were smart, we'd buy like a shit ton of those ninja roids. And hope that they're not 75% off next time. I'm just, I'm not smart. I'm not going to do it. Can you do us a favor? Like what? You remember Mount Terroir, right? We're worried that the monster there hasn't calmed down yet. But we're not allowed to leave. So we thought maybe you'd help us out. If you do, we'll give you the Sword of Fire. Right, Maribo? That's right. So, Musashi, what do you say? Sure. Uh -huh. Got something in my pocket. I'm all fired up. The spirit? So how should I soothe the savage beast? However you want, Musashi. Just give him a good spanking, and I'm sure he'll wise up. That's it? Finding the best way is up to you. It's not our place to say more. Warriors have their roles, just as maidens have theirs. I had to write an essay about that. <laughs> I'd love to read it sometime. All right, time to hit the road. Just shine that sword up for me, okay? Okie dokie, will do. Do they have it on them? Is that what's going on? I thought we had to get it from the creature. Okay, I'm actually going to buy all those ninja roids. What's the stop? Let's gamble. Oh, they're sold out. Okay, strategy failed. Strategy denied. Do we have anything to appraise? Not sure if our inventory is full. It hasn't said anything. Let's just jump into it. Use the office. Let's go beat this thing. I think we can also climb that wall. And that's either going to be where the fire sword is, or me thinks it might be just a sphere. And we'll have to hit the fortune teller up to see if we've missed any of the uh, the spheres. Because I do, I'm not looking for a hundred percent run, but I definitely want to get all of the people saved. I don't care about getting every card, but I do care about saving all the people. Balcon volcanic temper. Okay, does it start us at the start, or did we are we outside? We're at the start. I was hoping we'd be outside of the thing, but this uh, let's just double down and get that gecko wall. And they might have changed the environment for us. So we could get that treasure tre tre treasure chest. I'll try this. <laughs> I hit him in the nuts. Nice. Look how layered. 
for long though. Later, nerd. Already been there. Ooh, I got hit by fire. That's, a, that's strong. I'm just gonna rush past these guys. I know like we get experience and stuff, but I feel like we're pretty good for experience so far. We've been killing a lot, a lot of things. And it took us a long time to get through that steam thing, so I kind of want to move the story along. Or that tower. That reminds me of the steam tree, that tower. Um, so I want to move this along. Just so this 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 episode is like uh, entertaining. I was doing like two hour VODs and then I'd stop and redo it, but I think I am gonna just stream the whole time and upload those VODs. Uh, because someone actually watched the whole VOD. So I was like, oh, you know what? It doesn't matter if they're in two hour streaks or two hour uh, episodes. If someone's interested at the start, they'll watch the whole thing, regardless of the time, or at least most of it, and they'll come back later. Oh, I don't think they watched any of the other ones. It's it's interesting, like... So I don't know, maybe it's like a bot scavenging data, but someone watched... Or maybe it was someone who came into the stream and missed some of it. Um, but it, the one... I think it's like episode 3 of Brave Fencing Masashi has like a, An average view time of like over an hour. Uh, where the other ones have like 40 seconds. So someone liked part 3. I'm new to streaming and uploading videos, and by new I mean like I've been doing this for about a month. Uh, but you'll see my channel's a little bare because I restarted. I wanted to improve the quality, so I got rid of some of the older games I streamed. Try to bring a little more to it. Okay, we're getting close to where it was. Okay, this is, it's not this area, it's the next area. They turned blue for a little bit. I don't know what that means. I don't know if it's like an effect that hits them or if it's just like a little uh, graphic. Okay, so this is, so I, I, my, my idea is that that purple, um, that purple gate, this door over here, is it gone now? My idea is that it's gone, okay, that this was going to lead around to that cave entrance there, and that seems to be the case. Why would this be, oh, it's like its own area. Why? Is it a shortcut or something? We've been here before, so it's just... That's the top of it. This is just below it? We'll, we'll, we'll move forward. It does seem to be how we get that chest. We still have to go scale that wall at the top though, so I don't want to ignore that. But we should be going back to that lair. Okay, this is interesting. These, just like girders of steel.
Okay, this is like the puzzle before. Pretty sure this is a new area. Yeah, it is, because the other area had like a crystal crystally glow to it. This area seems very like just it has those yeah, it has those girder things I just talked about. Of course this is a new area. It just has a similar like pattern to it on the map. In fact, it might be like a complete underlay. No, it's no, it's not, it's not. Okay. It just feels really familiar. Burn. Burn you ninjoid. Ninjoid. Ninja droid? Yeah, ninja droid. Now, this is where we figure out if we have a full inventory. Okay, never mind. Now, this is where we figure out if we have a full inventory. Good. Unless that stacked. It didn't even show up there. Okay. Oh, I wonder if that kit to mass produce those um, Galva bots that we got, if that's for the arena. Right? Like maybe we give it to the arena guy and then he can make all those bots for us to fight. That makes sense to me. Check the map so I know what way to go. Behind us. We'll use the steam to our advantage. Oh, he's not gonna come. Couldn't bait him. I really enjoy how they keep walking. They are they are robots. I guess that's like the last thing they processed. So they just keep moving. An apple pastry. That's a climb wall. We should probably conserve this mana. We do have a lot of ice cream though, so we should be okay. Got that coin. Okay. Twelve o'clock. Uh, I'll probably be up till two or three again. I mean, I've been thinking I'll stream a little bit more because I, I actually enjoy streaming a lot. Gives me an excuse to play video games, and uh, it. it I, f I found that whenever I play video games nowadays, uh, I feel guilty for like feeling like I'm wasting time. Um, but also, I'm always like multitasking, and I'll have a stream on myself. Um, or I'll have some like video on or something just because I need to multitask That's just how my brain works, I guess um, So I found that Streaming actually causes me to not have to multitask because I'm kind of multitasking If that you know what I mean so I'll actually like focus more on the game Wait, what? Which game came from? So what I'm trying to say is I'll focus on the game more and I enjoy video games more when I'm doing uh, streams because I, I'm like multitasking, but I'm not multitasking. And I I definitely like will always multitask when I play games by myself because I need that extra like thing going on. It's just enjoyable. I, I like streaming. Trying to convince my brother to stream as well. Yeah, 
I, I, I just find it makes uh, video games more enjoyable for me personally. There's a lot of games I want to play too. So yeah, I, I'm, I might start streaming earlier. Like I have been streaming at like 9.45 I start. I might do like 9, 9.30. And then I might stream to like 3. It really depends. I have to make sure I get adequate sleep, but I just don't sleep anyways. So it's just... It's, to me, it's like whatever. I don't know if anyone else has this. Uh, but I, I, I seem to have developed this thing where uh, I have like a vibrating foot. It's not like my foot's actually moving, it's neurological. It's not constant, but it feels like my foot just pulsates with vibrations every like five seconds. So it kind of makes it a little weird to sleep. I don't know if it's restless leg syndrome. Um, I've looked it up and there was like a name for it. Other people have the same experience. But I have to like move my foot constantly for it to stop. So it's like a neurological thing. So sleeping is kind of annoying. Um, I also just have trouble sleeping in general. So, all I'm saying is I'll probably be up till 3, regardless. And I drink caffeine like a motherfucker. Okay, let's get this. Ooh, that's Pepper. Folks call me Pepper, because the only thing spicier than me is my cooking. Come on over to Pepper's Grill for dishes guaranteed to knock your socks off. I grew up in the country, so I'm allowed to talk like that. It's not offensive. Okay, so we got the chest and it was magic alloy. So that answers that question, what that was. Need mana. Mystical power. Might also do some game development streams because I am an indie game developer. I haven't sold anything yet, but I'm trying to just make a game because it's been my lifelong dream. So I think some of those streams would be nice. I might do that uh, at other time periods though. Oh, this is a red robot. Okay, it still doesn't have anything. Those are normally gray. Oh, this is bell things. I don't want to fight it. I'll kill this guy and then we'll just move on. Can you kill a robot? It doesn't technically, it's not technically alive, right? Nebulum jar. Interesting. These little guys are really annoying. I'm just gonna run. They eat up my health. Walking into those is also not optimal. Oh, let's get some mana back and get some of this back. Some health back. Let's just get that up. Use some of these items. We've been doing pretty good with our item usage. Shit. 
Okay, here we are. Just gonna ignore these buggers. Yeah, let's just get out of here. We should be approaching the boss room. Oh, this is cool. They did a really good job on the lava level. I, I don't know if anyone remembers Spy Kids 3. Where they jump into the VR game and they're like, every game has a lava level. Well, some games definitely need them. Because they're just amazing. That and poisonous swamps. More poisonous swamps. And ice palaces. We're going luck again because I love luck. I I don't I think it's probably not as useful as I think it is, but I enjoy the idea. Famine onigiri. Nice. through him and then knock the other guy off. Cybella? I'm Cybella, Guild Burner's associate. Uh, or assistant, associate. Many tests to run must get back to Invention Sync. I wonder if she'll thank, or not thank us, uh, help us. Whoa. Damn. Like I was kind of just waiting. I wonder if she'll help us decide what uh, parts to use so we don't waste them. Or if she maybe increases success rates, if that's a thing. through. I want to save my health and uh, mana for the boss and I feel like this has got to be it. But I say that, I think I've said that every single last scene in this game, or in this level, the lava level specifically. I'm really looking forward to the next one because the forest one, or the air one rather, I remember that being really fun. Just the area was really big and it's got, you know, it's just cool. Okay, let's do this. So we're like a floor down, I guess, from the place it was before. Where the maiden was. Let's see energy drink out. Now for the coffee. No wonder I can't sleep? Yeah. Of course, but I use caffeine because I can't sleep. So I, I can't... I can't sleep, but the caffeine helps me function, I guess. And usually I don't drink caffeine this late, it's just because I'm gaming. Which is actually in my new schedule now, because I stream every night, so, so don't listen to me. I'm a deceiver. Ooh. Oh. I'm gonna deal with him. Oh, that's how. Just run out. What am I doing here? 
Oh. Okay, so run up his arm and then just smoke him with the... Oh, his arm actually broke off. See, we didn't actually need the earth sword, the earth sword to beat the water guy. So, actually having to use the water sword to beat this guy is pretty neat. And it's the mechanics we learned for those platforms, so I like that too. I'd say this boss is pretty well put together then. Though he might be a little simple. But that's fine. Right, there's a lock on. I should use it. Oh man, that's savage. Breaking both your arms off. It's like when Eren runs towards uh, uh, Ymir Ymiru and attack on Titan and has to rip his arm out of the cuffs. Ah. Spoiler. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, this is him. This is the boss, and uh, I still think he's good. Hopefully, he gets another like skill set. Okay, here we go. There's an extra. Getting some extras in. Too bad he doesn't learn. He is made of lava. I don't know how big his brain is. Most animals respond very negatively to getting their arms ripped off. But he's fine with it. Oh, whoa. Wow, am I supposed to hit him again? I didn't realize his face gets so... Was his face messed up? Face just look like jaggy. I think it's just how his face is. Didn't step on those. Oh yeah, see, I, I messed his face up. Oh. He's shooting his ribs at me. Oh shit. It was like moved again. It's got more rips. Where's the fire effect? Omigiri, possum burger, apple pastry. Okay, we'll just stick with this shiitake. The shiitake is a mushroom. I believe, yeah. Shiitake mushroom. Actually hit him multiple times. I was a noob. My bad. I didn't realize I could hit him like three times. You've done so, mate. Thanks for coming out. Okay, now give me the sword. I don't really want to leave. I, I want to go to that thing and scale it, but I guess we'll have to come back. Well, there 
There's no fighting him now. Wow, you did it! Way to go! You really are a hero. That should make the volcano settle down. Yeah, we killed him. Yes, and all Ambien can sleep easier. So, about that sword of fire... You still want it? Yep, you promised. So, where is the sword? Oh no, don't tell me you've lost it. No, no, we still have it. We'll be waiting in the Chamber of Rites, okay? Okay, so this is the first sword where we don't have to beat someone for it. They just have it. Cool, and they're just going to have it uh, ready for us. We will begin the Rite of Transfer. Once we complete the incantation, plunge the Sword of Fire into the fire gate marked on the ground. Got it. So, where's the fire sword? Don't worry. You'll see soon enough. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's begin. I can't remember what this is about. Where's the sword? Oh, sacred sword of fire. This brave soul from another world bows in the name of the five spirits of mortals and of the heavens to walk with you as long as he lives. Spark! Flame! There it is. Inferno! That sword looks sick. It looks like a dragon sword. I like it. Sword of Fire. Pyroblast. Let loose a volley of blazing fireballs that can scorch enemies and light torches. Uh, gain strength, can travel further, so we can now go to the next area, which was that foresty looking swamp thingy. So, you had the Sword of Fire yeah, we are the maidens of fire after all. <laughs> didn't take up much space, did it? We had to be sure it didn't fall into the wrong hands. The maidens have guarded the five swords in this way for generations. Well, the other two seem to have failed at their job then. They left it with like random monsters. They just like had it hidden inside of their like aura. Okay, let's roll. Nothing runt! My volcano project's up in smoke! Thanks to your suicidal gizmo! Here we go again! Don't blame me for your ignorance! We spent millions on the modulator and then put a genius like you in charge. You had no idea how to operate it, did you? Admit it! You didn't even glance at the manual! Manual? Look, just don't pawn off your old toys on me. You are a moron. What'd you say? Oh, sorry. Do you prefer imbecile? Oh, you! You're so dog me! Aha! <laughs> All right, have at it, boys. Gentlemen, gentlemen! Oh, shit. You have to finish this outside! Oh, yeah, his teeth. Why me? Wipe out. Oops. Moving right along. Beko, please update us on the Rainforest Project. Stop calling me Beckles. Pikadon is my pet project, and I can assure you it won't end up like the volcano. Excuse me? If the jungle truly hides great resources, then we must construct a base there. Yeah, we know already. By the way, I locked a princess and a fire maiden inside Nebulium Tower, but Musashi came and rescued them both. Yes, I'm terribly sorry. We planned to increase output, but it all backfired. And we could have used more security. Hmm. Let the maiden go. But bring the princess back at any cost. Yes, sir. Well, 
If there are no other announcements, that concludes this meeting. Chapter 4 Rest and save. Look at that sword. That's a cool sword. I want to talk to the Earth Maiden and see if we can get that ring now. They each have a ring that lowers the MP cost of the skill. For their associated sword. We also might be getting some side quests soon. We definitely do not have enough magic alloy. By definitely, I mean we should check. Where's the alloy? Pretty sure we picked up at least one. I guess not? Well, forget that noise. Yeah, I love this sword. Looks cool. I don't remember using it much though, so. Hello there. You like bread or rice balls better? Don't tell turn bread, but I love them both. Okay. Hello there. It's just the same? Okay. Unless there was no there's no ring to be had. Do we actually have to go to Pepper's Grill? Big star, so it means a quest. You're just in time. I'm about to whip up my, a batch of my five alarm angry angler hell stew to put some fight back into the wimps in this town. A hell stew? Uh oh. If they're gonna get all fired up about taking Gandrake on, they'll need some fire in their belly, right? So I'll be needing some of that nutritious and delicious angry angler. Can you get me some? Sure, I'll do it. Of course you'll do. You'll find angry anglers in the spring in Picadon jungle. They're the ordinary looking yellow fish. I want to use a fillet of one and bring it back. Here's how Ma used to do it, watch and learn. So I remember this. So we so we had to just do the uh, focus thing. We lay the target into three succulent slices. Wow, you catch on mighty quick. Anglers attack by jumping out of the water, so slash when uh, that's when they use the slash mo move I showed you. Alrighty, the rest is up to you. Awesome. I have a pressure cooker for you. Do a praise. No. Here she is. We got a feast. Why, you've got a pressure cooker. That's just what I've been needing. You don't mind handing that over, do you? Nah, of course you don't. Hey, wait. She just took it. Alrighty, next time. Time to get the crack. And next time you come around, I'll have a new dish to make your jaw drop. Don't you mean jaw? Oh, I missed. She said it differently. Don't sweat the small stuff, boy. You'll live longer. We got a feast. I... Okay, so her stuff actually does, um, it's expensive, but it does MP and uh, HP, so that's top tier. Now, I'm pretty sure this is when I could get the ring, at least from the princess. So, uh, I'm gonna try to talk to the Earth one again, because I thought I got it before I got the other ring. What the fuck? Got it. Uh, that was a glitch. It's just save slot, just in case. Okay, so this is uh, expensive. Luck plus 80, I want that. 1600. I don't want to sell anything though. But you can't have any of my stuff. Have a productive okay, day. let's hope that glitch never ever happens again. And it was the bread place I wanted to go. There's a time, there's like a, like I've said before, like you can miss the princess ring. Okay, I guess she's fine. Have a good day. Okay, let's go up the teleporter. 
and Portar. He's in the the right chamber. So the chief's quarters. But because we're over here, I'm gonna stop by the dojo and just see if Cat Guy's got any new skills for us. What's up, cat dude? Sea of the Sword of Fire. Power blast light torches reduce enemies to ashes. Find something like a torch, try to blast it up. Okay. Yeah, see, this is what I remember. The Pyro Blast is just the water skill. They just change the colors and make it do different things. In Brave Fencer, the fire and the water were a little bit similar, but they weren't that similar. What's Got some cards, my dude. Uh, how do I know if I own them? Okay, it says. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bother. I don't care if they're on sale, because I would have to do that every time and just be annoying. I don't really care to get it. This is the classroom. Uh, do they have a ring for us? Have you heard of the magic cards? Everyone's talking about them. I've collected a few myself. Hello. Hello. She talks about nothing but the magic cards all day. See, I could buy them, but I don't want to lose my money and not be able to afford some of that equipment. Because the thing we have now just gives us like 10, 20 luck. That other thing did 60. Okay, see, so we get this cutscene. Well, hello, Masashi. Hi, princess. How are you? I'm just fine. How about you? I'm pretty good. For now, anyway. Glad to hear it. What brings you here? Oh, nothing really. I just thought I'd look in on you. See how you're doing. I'm flattered. It's so nice of you to come by. You're just in time for tea. Won't you join me? Why, princess, I'd be honored. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you did, didn't you? Musashi, I've been thinking. I really feel terrible about all the trouble I've caused you by summoning you here. Forget about it. I was in the market for a fresh challenge anyhow. It lets me try out new techniques. And besides, this isn't such a bad place. Thank you. Things might be rough for a while, but don't give up. Well, I'd better get going. Thanks for the tea and goodies. You're welcome. Oh, I have something for you. Please, keep it with you always. Got it. Okay, now we might be able to get the other rings. So just to show you what this does. Reduces the Great Ore's MP consumption by half. So that... Uh, I don't know how strong it actually was, is, but when I was a kid, like, that was the strongest stuff ever. Because you could just spam the Great Ore over and over again, and it just, it's a giant circle attack that hits everything. Okay, now is she going to give me her ring? I'm intrigued by the ecology of Picadon Jungle. The plant monsters employ unique defense mechanisms. Their strikes seem quite powerful, even a hero like you should take care. So we're not going to get the ring. Oh, uh, I don't... No, because there wasn't a cutscene after we got the fire sword. I'm just hoping we don't miss. We, I haven't missed it. I don't think I've talked to this guy yet. I'm high. This girl, sorry. I've got a funny feeling that the mixologist laden is somewhere in Picadon Jungle. Is she gonna give us hands? Okay, just the one. Yeah, let's go to the jungle. I would like to stop by the volcano and quickly scale up that wall. Because it's, you know, like, what's what's up there? Ah, Musashi. I think it's worth doing. Because we're, we're already here. I'm just going to run it, though. Like, I'm going to, like, speed run this. Like, you never see me run so fast. 
Plus, we have this fucking cool fire sword now. Well, isn't that powerful? Out of the way. She doesn't do that much damage. It, it seems to be just like a normal. Well, I guess 300's good. It's also fast. run. It's unfortunate we don't have any like dash skill. And I say that now, we probably get one as soon as we go into that jungle. Just to spite us. Oh, can't ledge grab? Okay. Oh, he got us. I think there might be a difference. I think the the water one, it's like three orbs, but the middle one's under. And the fire one might be... Over. No, it is under. Okay, I was hoping that they put at least one difference. No, wrong person. I want to see what his death animation looks like. They, they kind they kind of change. It looks a little different, I think. It's like 500. Okay, so every time we switch swords, it'll do that little like freeze frame and tell us what the skill was. That's that's neat. It looks nice. Relax. I wonder if they have random health values. Sometimes it feels like some of them are just a lot stronger than the others. I don't know. Okay, let's get this done. Oh, we have to do that giant jump puzzle up there. That sucks. By jump puzzle, I mean platforming. I used to play Guild Wars 2, that's why. Guild Wars 2 was actually based. Stupid robot. Gotta wait for the proper thing to fall down. Just save stating because now I'm paranoid it's gonna break. Oh, come on, let's go. Why do the devs do this? There we are.
Okay, our katana now hits for like a hundred per hit. Gotten very strong. Only I could jump up there. What? Come on. Don't do the same. Oh. Okay, we need to move up. And this guy needs to die. He got too many free shots off. Could not let him live after that. Don't knock me off. Okay. Uh, it's this screen and then one more and then we get to scale the mountain. I seem to recall doing this before like on the other places and I found this to be one of the most annoying backtracks in the game. I don't think there's another backtrack like this. There is only two more areas and the last area is more like a boss, bo a boss rush. So... Take his arm. You don't need your arm, ninja. You don't deserve your arm. Damn killing machines. I appreciate that they could have any type of robot ever, and they picked a ninja. A ninja with claws. If I ever get a Tesla bot, I'm going to make some alterations. Give him some sick claws. That's going to be the first thing people do. As soon as we have human robots, someone's going to make videos and TikToks of like attaching knives and guns and stuff to them. And trying to like hack them and be like, hey, I need you to do this. It's like what people did to ChatGPT. They're like, okay, ChatGPT can't like describe violence. And it's like, well... Pretend it's ketchup or like something like that. They just jail jailbreak it. Oh no. Okay. I thought they were gonna get me there. They just jailbreak it, so people are gonna take their homemade robots and jailbreak them. And the question is how far is this up? Is it worth healing? Because I need to bring a rock over there. I'm gonna run past. I don't like these people. I don't like these people. Oh, yep. 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 Of course. Of course. Ah, damn it. Please don't put me at the start of the level. There's a checkpoint. Thank, thank, thank you to ga game developers. Thank you. And now we don't have to waste any healing items. Huzzah. No, because the, the pick up the thing is the jump button. So I, I thought I was far enough away, but then he picked it up. And that's probably because I got surrounded. So I didn't move as far as I intended. And I panicked. Move over here, jump up here, and it's done. It's done. These things. There it is. Is 
to call at least three of them so they're scared of me. Oh, that's it? Okay. Okay. That's it. This better be good. Mithril parts? Magic alloy. Okay. At least they gave us this. That was that was pretty lame actually. It was not no Breno. That was uh not worth it. I mean we had to get it, now we can upgrade our sword better next time we get six alloy, but but come on. I was thinking there'd be a sphere. You know, they'd be like, oh, so you did remember. You did remember we, you could climb up there. That's fine. To the jungle. Let's move this whale. It's amazing the whale listens to us. Relay of Angry Angler. So I can't remember how this ties into the sword, but uh, we will be getting an angler filleted. And this area is really cool. And that enemy has a cool weapon. There's the angler. Yeah, I really like this level. This level's top tier. Okay, I'm gonna fix my posture. Uh, we have their skill. The camo like looking green ones, the lava green ones that we don't have. The ones that have the glaive. And he's somewhere around here, I think. Okay, this woman's cool. Tell me. What who are you? Not your average Joe, I bet. What brings you here? Are you one of Gandrake's goons? I can't stand Gandrake. I'm just here looking for angry anglers. Know where I can find some? Angry anglers? What do you want them for? For some stew. Angry angler hell stew, eh? How'd you know? Who are you anyway? It's dangerous here. Head back as soon as you've caught your angler. And just so you know, that fish tastes awful. Hey! Hmm. Gone already. Wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Just rude, that's all. She thinks she's better than us at swords. Can't get across that. That didn't happen. Okay, do you have skill? Yes, you do. This is gonna be that dash skill I said that we'd probably get. I wonder if that's because my subconscious remembered or. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Shooting star. Magnificent lunge through enemies. 15 MP. That's exactly what we needed. We shouldn't have gone back until now. Damn it. If I ever play this again, that's something I need to remember. Oh, it's not that good. No, this sucks. For 15 MP, that sucks. No thanks, I'm good. Okay, there's our anglers. Oh. Okay, I can't log on. Good to know. I owe you one. Nox, man, I'm hungry. Gotta go see what Pepper's cooking. By the way, I'm Nox. See you later. Okay, Nox. Okay, those are the anglers. So we could explore more, but I think it's better to just get the anglers. And also, I remember what this is.
Right, he's got to do his skill. I don't know if he's going to do it. There's not a lot of room here. Yeah, there's not enough room. And he might have to be under his little blankie. That might be a thing. Oh wow, this needs a lot of focus. That's almost not worth it until we get higher focus, because like, what is it even going to do? No, we can't get it. it needs to, we don't have enough focus. Oh, is he getting healed by our sword? Yeah, it was. Put a hole in it. Uh, we hit R2. Sorry, we'll hold R2. Uh, not that. Oh, fish fillet. early. That was it, wasn't it? These are anglers, aren't they? You said when it comes out of the water. Don't run. Gonna run. I guess that's not it. Because that's exactly what she said to do. Oh, right, right, right. That's what we have to do. Take care of him. Oh, no. It complicated it. Karmic Circle. Throw a sword to smite them from afar. That's cool. I like that one. Oh, hey. I still can't charge that up. That'll take, uh... It, it'll max out like it did on the other one. So it's not those other anglers, I guess. Because I did cut those other ones in half, just like she said. Like, 
I think that would be like the first guess that that's the right fish. It's in, like, it's, it looks exactly like what I would expect an angler to look like. Or maybe I had the wrong idea of what an angler is. Or maybe it's like we're, we're supposed to be doing something else. It's just kind of extra. Okay, so those, those uh, we can light on fire. attack it or is it gonna make me yeah whoops wrong button these are cool <laughs> nice dodge See, we're, as soon as we start that skill, we're just invincible. So we can just spam at close range whenever we're surrounded like that. And we never take damage. Easy peasy. I assume we just drop down. Excellent. Who's this? Pecorino. Troop uh, Brocchio's Magic Extraordinaire. Magician Extraordinaire? I may not cast real spells, but I've got some tricks up my sleeve. See you around. You're not supposed to admit that. It's down here, right? What? Okay, I'm healing. This is the graveyard of all the people I knocked off. Well, I should get the experience, right? We're all weak. Oh, wow. You threw that high. Oh, he dodged. Evasive maneuvers. Okay, I'm not going to get baited like that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to fall down to get there. I just must have hit the side and it pushed me over. I really want to know what's up with these anglers. Okay, so there's the exit, but I don't want to take that. It is possible we have to go around, but I feel like that's easy to. I should have fallen off the, the side there, okay.
You're getting pretty tanky. I, I don't want to play. I just want to go over here. I've already destroyed him like five times. It's got little faces on it. Looks like it. No, it's not going to let us. Oh, maybe those anglers aren't angry. Maybe those are just like normal. We're going to have to find like a big one. I seem to recall when I played this with my buddy, we had the same like confusion. Okay. Who was that? Oh, it's them. Those look like things. Okay. Stuck in the corner here. Go up, but I want to check to make sure there's no items. This looks like something that burns. Look at all that gold. Holy shit. That's because we used our noodle. Game devs have rewarded us for noodling that one out. Some steel parts. Okay. light over here for some reason. I think we're circling around now. So let's climb on up. them. Got too many free hits off. I'm just going to be honest with myself and use one of these better ones. They get both. As we're getting to that point. Nice. Burn. See, this area is really cool. It's like a like tribal village or something. It's got some verticality, but not too much. Actually, it's probably got a decent amount. Now that I'm remembering it, I think we have a few floors. Now that I'm seeing it too. No, there's just canopies. But it's still a great level. I'm just gonna use the mini map now to help guide me. Yeah, we have to jump on a different... Gotta get up this one. This is the last chest, I think. Yep. Got him. We can move on to the next part. Magic alloy. Good, 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 good. Do we actually have two now? Is that... Because um, I couldn't see it here last time. Magic alloy does not show up here. Oops, uh, like, how do I tell how much magic alloy I have? Am I not seeing it?
at this? No. Oh well. Oh. Let's check out the rescue list. So we got seven people that are missing. Okay. So now we have two op three options. No, it's just one option. Got on the wrong bug bus. This is my bug bus. Checkpoint. That'll teach you to get on my bug bus. I'm gonna look at the map to see if there was a way to, like to get to that second place. No. Nope. That place where the other sphere was. Oh. Sir, they have completed the area survey. It's just as the research team expected. Vast deposits of nebulite lie buried underground. Headquarters has advised us to begin constructing a nebulite mine and fortifications immediately. I see. So much for saving the rainforest. In the hands of my genius, this ordinary jungle you see before you will be transformed into a fantastic concrete jungle. Yes, I will make it my own giant research center. Soon, all the world shall know the magnitude of my brilliance. First, we must do away with those pathetic nuisances and their beloved beasts. I think I'm getting a flashback of like what this boss is like. I'm starting to get pictures of like a spider in a web. Who knows though? Okay. Looks safe-ish. Ambush. Should have thought about who had the fire sword. I have the fire sword. There are plants. Oh, so if you hit him with a fire sword when he's outside of his little shell, he just like gets gibbed. They're plants, right? They don't like fire. And they get healed by water, so. That's an interesting little thing. Sword makes us feel powerful. I want to fight here. don't like hitting them away now with the third hit because of uh, they just get whoa that was close that's gonna hit us in the back of the head Musashi you're dead yeah. nice. um, just because uh, when I hit them away I can't I can't like hold on do I have to jump all the way down or can I not oh I could just walk across here this whole time I thought it was death I thought that was death can I hit them or are they too, too low? I hit one. We 
We have 32,000 gold, so we can pick up that, like, super lucky thing. And then we can increase our luck by 60. Okay, I think it's a smart idea to heal. you duplicating because we couldn't duplicate that guy so I'd like to get that higher so that maybe we can duplicate him at some point is there a thing to find we're just gonna go up that pathway yeah, see, so just like hitting the combo and stopping it prematurely so I can just keep him in one spot. That seems to be the best. It looks like this looks like something that could be climbed, but it's definitely not. Definitely not. Just the color. What's in the chest, bro? Magic alloy. That's a big health orb. What did that do? Just make him go to our left? Okay. Let's try. Yeah, I like this level a lot, just the way it is uh, aesthetically. a lot of health. Maybe we should uh, uh, increase our defense. Level that up just a little bit instead of being a glass cannon. Ooh, I think this part's fun. It's either this time or next time we get to do like a um, minigame. I think it's now. Never mind. Yes? No. No, never mind. What's this about? that that's it okay so it's red that's why it's angry because it's red or it's red because it's angry I want that chest first just in case it does some lame cutscene that kicks us out but the other ones are just giving us practice this one's the real deal Perfect. Oh, it's still alive. That must be painful. That must be torture. Yeah, now I think it does like a separate path and it's like a mini game. Yes, something happens. Yeah, this happens. The Crimson Gorger. Yeah, this. It's about time we got another mini game. Well, 
those are strong ladybugs. Don't let the crimson gorger next. Don't be the next meal. Leap from bug to bug. So we're just gonna like get rid of one of these bugs. Just gonna let it die. I guess. Oops. Who choose who lives, who dies? Oh, they just shake it off. Don't leave him alone, you bully. That was our friend. Am I supposed to do something? Can hurt him. Am I doing that wrong? No, no, it's fine. Uh, maybe I'll do that wrong. Okay, he doesn't do much damage if we just get on the top of that right away. to try to hit him with circle. We'll try again. can't hit him. Whoops. I thought we had to wait for that tongue to come out, but I guess that is like his opening. It's right up here. What do I do here? Just like keep jumping? Okay. Oh, okay. I was hoping that I could cancel that out. But I think it's just going to be like, hey, um, by the time he gets to you, you should probably jump. Switch to that. Oh, no. I wanted to get the slice and dice. Blue bash and vanishing blade. so we can we can hit him off no is a bigger fish
Yeah, what am I doing? I'm just gonna do it like this. Um, oh, see, okay, so Banishing Blade actually costs the most, so it does actually probably do the most damage. Okay, I, I just wanted to check that. I wasn't sure if the Tic-Tac Toe one or the uh, Banishing Blade did more. No, because this one does like a bunch of attacks. I'm gonna try it. Yeah, that's not it. That's not the one. Uh, we'll just do this. Infernal Strike is the clown one. But I think this one we can spam really fast. I don't know what to do there. See, if we did it properly like that, we don't take any damage, I don't believe. hit by it every time. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? That was awful. Next time I'm just going to spam this horse skill. That actually worked really well. It's gotta be near death now. Come on. I don't know how to dodge this. Okay. Well, now we know about the fire sword being able to spam the shit out of that. So we'll just spam the shit out of that. Ah, we have to do the first one again. Why did I do that? Oh, I can still hit it. indicator is for this. I guess just keep moving as fast as you can and make sure it doesn't land on you. Bottom. See, it goes a lot faster now because we know we can hit him uh, all the time. I don't think. I, I jumped. You all saw that. That was half our health. We're not doing this again. So let's get the stick. So we can spam the shit out of this. What is going on there? Uh, that, that, uh, that skill we have did not do that well. 
the cosmic infernal strike. There's cosmic uh, explosion of cosmic power. That's where you get that cosmic from. The Karma Circle might be good for this, like just spamming that. Okay. I know I'm not hitting him. I just don't want to dodge. We'll use our last one, Nikiri. Gives us no, actually, gives us 200. It's got a lot of health left. I I'm, I'm gonna use it. I'm scared. I don't want to die. We actually use one of those wasabis so we can spam that thing. I forgot we had the ice cream. Okay, I think I know what that is. Whenever the water starts moving around, whatever one you are on, that's the one it chooses. Mid shot, mid air. Got him. That was a lot just to get them this angry angler. That's a lot. Very risky. Better be good, Stu. Yeah, Pepper's Girl. I'm gonna save state because I don't want that. Last time we went for, through one of these rooms, it just glitched out. Don't want that to happen again. Nah, you done good. Now I can make my fire alarm angry English hell stew. Stand back and watch a Cracker Jack's chef at work. Half an hour later. Oh, wow. There you go, a complete meal guaranteed to put hair on your chest. Try some. Lose 5 HP, maximum strength increase 5 points. Nice. And would you mind taking a helping over to that inventor, Geld Brenner, when you're done? He's a fan of the stuff since way back. Okay, I guess we have to. Uh, I am going to BRB real quick. I will be back momentarily. Oh, let me give you that one last time. This one. Alright.
Okay, I'm back. Let's let's uh let's do what are we doing? Delivering that thing to the guy. So let's go to deliver it. So I got a hair in my mouth, ew. There's a new person. Hey, you know Fontina, that lady at the archives? I think she's hot. I get so excited whenever those big glasses look my way. Well, nice man, nice. You know, we fixed those glasses. You're welcome, bro. Musashi, you brought me some of my favorite five alarm angry angler hell stew. Ah, how that rustic aroma stirs the soul. More like exterminates the soul. Words cannot express my profound gratitude. Tears of joy flow from my eyes. Yes, to thank you, I present you with my latest invention, water bug shoes. While wearing them, you can walk on water and cross ponds easily. Nice. We don't even say thank you, we just leave. Life is one big experiment. Oh, he's not gonna feed it to the dog, is he? That's cute. And also a little cruel. Ha! But cute. Okay, let's see here. What does she do? When it comes to parts, some are harder to find than others. Yeah, I don't want to do that until I... Unless I have a guide up, because I don't want to waste any of that, because... Of course, that being said, if it doesn't make it, it probably just tells you it failed, and then it goes back. In which case, you know, like, why bother without the guide? Because it's just going to waste time. I don't really care for playing guessing games. Not like that, at least. I think we do have stuff to appraise. And then we can go buy that thing. Or we could buy more cards. Probably buy cards. What do we have here? Unusual. This is remarkable. Rare find. You found a shuriken. See, these are like, I, I'm fairly certain we don't have to give them to anyone, but I just, I seem to recall something about giving a love letter to someone. I could be completely wrong, though. Okay, so it actually tells us with a green star when we can upgrade our, uh, our sword, I guess. Neat. I wonder if we'll get to the point where when we do the motorcycle race, we can just one shot him. Oh, it's a side quest. Or er, no more nebulite. What's the matter, bud? Out of nebulite. Must keep furnace going. Mug in trouble. No fire, no work. Could you keep the fire if you had nebulite? Yeah. Uh, Gendry, Cog, and nebulite. Mug not able to get any. You bring mug nebulite from low fortress? No problem, big guy. Go to place, digging place. Don't we have a nebulite thing? Okay, that's annoying. Can't upgrade our sword unless we get more nebulite. We have to go back to the rogue area. Damn. I get the feeling that some this troop is missing something. We yes, we could use someone with delicate, beautiful yet dynamic technique. Well, I'm gonna go back to our quarters. That seems to be what the quest is in line, and maybe we can look at those cards. Was well, gonna be a cutscene probably? Yes. Oh, princess, staying up late is so bad for your complexion. Is that a panty shot? I swear those are blue panties. Purple. Clochette? It's been ages, hasn't it, Micella? When did you get back? Just now. But I must be on my way. Whoa. With you, of course. What? Betrayal. Betrayal. So they know each other, right? So they must. she must have been a part of this area. She didn't expect that. She's 
she's like in a cat outfit. Law. Law. Oh yeah, we can't be a pervert. Let's not do that. <laughs> So this is like um, the action figures from Brave Musashi, but it's uh, they're actual the in-game models rather than action figures. I know it takes more assets to make uh, the other things, but I actually really liked the action figure ness. But I get it. Cool, and I guess he just has whatever sword we have equipped. It. We're saved. Uh, it's 140. I should probably go to bed soon. Uh, I just, I'd rather get this side quest over with. So I think what I'll do is I'll do the side quest. I'll talk around. I'll do some housekeeping, and then we'll stop. Uh, we have enough ice cream. I don't want to necessarily buy that luck thing because, you know, it, it might be actually a waste. I'm going to shop here because this does HP and MP, and now we're using a lot of MP. We weren't before, but now we are. For good reason. We got a what can I do? I'm ready to order. Bye. So, 100 and 100 is ideal. Hmm. Actually, 150, 150. No, wait, what? Yeah, 150, 150 would be ideal. That's so expensive. Uh, I want to see something real quick, actually. Because we gave her that pressure cooker, so I'm curious if there's, like... Maybe that's it, 300 and 200? I don't know. She apparently has one more item. Thanks for stopping by. Or something. Those are actually really expensive. <laughs> now let's go talk to... Um, Baruni? Baruni? Yeah. Are you gonna give us a ring? Hello there. Okay, she does not. I might have to Google how to get that ring from her. We might have missed it. I would like to get those rings though, because then we could spam the skills. So Bannon's office will continue the story, and we're not gonna do that. Actually, hold on, we have to do that. We actually cannot go anywhere unless we go through Bannon's office office so we, uh so there we go we'll do that we'll probably stop at like 2 2 30 2 ah musashi what's the matter you look wiped out my cell has been missing since last night Hey, what? Have you looked everywhere? You see, it appears that someone from Gandrick has taken her. Someone spotted a strange flying machine parked nearby late last night. And that's how they took her, huh? Talk about low. Yes, I couldn't agree more. Someone among them must know the village well. What can we do? Chin up, chief. Even if we can't do much right now, she'll be fine. She can take out. She can take whatever they dish out. I'll rescue her, I promise. My heartfelt thanks to you, Musashi. You're right. As chief, I must keep my wish about me. My daughter would laugh if she saw me like this. You've got the right. that right. Put yourself together. Grit your teeth and paste on a smile on, Pops. Yes, sir. You've quite a talent for pep talks, Musashi. He just got excited about that. Ah, Musashi. Ah, Musashi. Okay, we'll go to the real place. But first... First... Let's stop by the... The, uh, Wellspring Woods. Uh, I wonder if, because this is a side quest, we don't have to do it, right? Or do we actually have to do that? Like, I don't know. Because the angler was 100% we had to do it, because that's how we met the person. So at the beginning of the game, I saw on the map that we could go further past. And also this chest, obviously, that's been taunting us the whole game. Magic alloy. That's what it was, okay. Because you start the game down there, so we've just seen this chest over and over again. But I noticed on the map there is this. Yeah. 
Look what it is. Twenty-three thousand two hundred and three. Twenty-three thousand two hundred three. That's nice. Okay, I don't think there was any more water. Uh, there was water there, but we were able to get everything from there. Yeah, so this is this is clear. Got all the chests, I believe. Cool. The only thing we could do is like ace the motorcycle thing, but I don't really care to do that right now. That could take a couple tries. It might not yield anything. You know what? We're here. We probably won't ever have to come back here. Let's do it. I am going to save state though, just in case we have trouble getting back and I feel tired. Uh, I, nah, I'm not going to load state. I've said in the other videos, if once I start using save states, that's like a, a boundary that's broken and I think that ruins the, uh, the experience. Okay, we gotta get every single one. No missing, allowed. And we're not gonna use a charge attack because we can one shot everything now. Excuse me, you heard that, my bad. Okay, we, we got this, we got this. This is a soundtrack that plays at the intro. It's pretty good. saw that we missed it I thought I hit it must have been like a frame off <sighs> that's fine we can try one more I mean it's just kind of annoying but whatever it happens I felt pretty confident that I hit square right beside it but I must have just like missed it I think we also can't get hit as well because we have the option to block. Okay, this is the boss. Let's see if we one shot him now. Nope, same. Or maybe we didn't upgrade our katana yet. Okay, we'll try one more time. Because then, then um, if we do want 100% of the game, we have to go into the rogue mine and do that other one. And it actually says it has a prize, so it might, this might not have a prize. Okay, no. We'll have to try another time. I'm not... Okay, because we can't actually go back to the start. So I don't think you actually get... Uh, anything for that. It doesn't say prize like the other one, and uh, it makes you go back here to try again. I would like to think the devs have enough common sense not to make that a thing. That being said, it is pretty easy to 100%, so maybe they figured 
they don't need to make it easy to redo or retry. I don't know. We'll just believe in the devs. Okay, let's run through this. Fire up the furnace. Go to the place where they dig. Remember that is. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. Right, I remember this. That's sick. What are they? They're like crystal creatures. Are they on the roof there, or is that just like a different... Uh, I, I kept seeing these blue things on the roof. gonna go under here. Yeah, we can't aim because everything, the fire just goes behind us because we're moving so fast. Oh, they took themselves out. Ninja droids. They need to be upgraded to ChatGPT5. Oh, is that my chance to get them? I'm giving much of a choice. Hair physics. I like the hair in this. What's next? Took a lot of damage there. Yeah. Lot chests. That is it. This it. Whoa. I'm gonna step on that. Cool. So it's a nice little mini game. I, I like this side quest. Twenty three twenty.
steel parts. The magic alloy. Um, so I guess we have to go further. Over here. Oh, it's a red one. No, that was not fair. We had charged up and everything. Oh, I can't see. I couldn't see. Silly Mishashi. Okay, okay. Fuck. We gotta use one of these expensive steak dinners. Okay, we were able to do this because we just walked away from him. So we just gotta keep doing that. Okay, now we let him hit us. Cool. Extreme. Nearly quarter foes of two di diagonal cuts. That's cool. Okay, let's continue. That's pretty sick. No? Didn't know what hit him. Oh, so if I lock on, all three of them kind of like go towards it. Oh, we gotta go do uh, another elevator. Elevator. I was hoping that we'd get um, two of the swords tonight. I was hoping we'd get fire and the wind sword, but I guess we're just getting the fire one tonight. I don't know how much extra we have to do to get the wind sword, but we haven't even saved the maiden yet. So, might be an ordeal. That's so cool. I haven't been using the lock on, so uh, I've been using like half power. But they both kind of go together, anyways. Still, it's better if you use the lock on, I think. This guy's so lucky. Not anymore, though. Another elevator. I think I'm just chilling. Sorry, bro. I might hurt somebody. You must be put down. <laughs> I think one of them missed. That's hilarious. If we see a red one at the bottom, we definitely missed. Yeah. What a nerd. What a nerd. Yeah, see, when you lock on, it actually like, tracks significantly better. I'm sorry, not significantly better. It actually tracks. Like, it doesn't just meet up in the center. It just tracks them. It homes them. Those gold coins. Making money. Cash money. Okay, who's this? Why, thank you, young man. 
Chime. Good to be free. My name is Chime. Never thought I'd see the day that I would have to hide away in a contraption like that. Goodbye and good health. Okay, how much longer is this mini dungeon? Oh, I like how the fire symbol like just sits. If you look at the top left, like the fire symbol like lines up with the um the outside. At least on three of its four points. It looks nice. Four miners. There's a sneak attack. I saw you. Doesn't work on me. Here we are. What is it, nebulite? Nebulum? gotta pick it up okay so we're just taking this much what are these creatures you seem to want my nebulite or nebulum Oh, all those, like, those black crystal things were these things in hiding. Neat. Feeling they can like break it. Yeah, they're eating it. So if we mess up further along, they'll just take it from us. So let's just do that. Stick of fire. <laughs> nice. A spin attack would come in handy, I knew it. Is it two elevators or three? I'm just gonna do this. Whoops. See, now that we have my, the my seal ring, it's like it can't take nothing. Or maybe it's because we just heal so much back. But the uh, my seal ring makes it like the strongest weapon in the game. I would say because you can just spam it. And it just hits everything in the circle and does tons of damage. And it turns into a really cool sword. Like you'll see it transforms into like a mystic blade. I'm not sure what the lore is, but this is the sword that, like, uh, he's found with. Musashi's found with it. So it's like, it's, it's like, and it has the same spin attack that Lumina has, so it's kind of implied that it's like a, a sleeping Lumina, I believe. I don't know if it's spoken upon more. 
at the end, I can't remember. Just it's kind of like a like if you don't get that ring, and the only way to get that ring is to visit the princess after you rescue her, uh, because now she's gone, right? So you can't get this ever again. So it's a missable item. I think it's like one of the only missables. See how powerful that is? And it looks like we never even lost any because they're all dropping it. So this is ideal. That's so strong. Oh, we made it. Okay, I just want to do this in case there's something fucky. Huzzah! Side quest complete. Hey buddy, I brought the nebulite. Oh, shiny rock. No doubt this is nebulite. Thanks, now Mug Smith again. What else would you be? Can you upgrade your sword now? Uh, need six. Okay. Okay, we had six. So I think it's one more after this. We need eight. Strength 20. Just say something. Bring more ma magic ammo. It's, it's frustrating, I can't figure out where it tells you how much alloy. Excuse me. How much alloy you have. Like, it's not here. Jar with distinct markings, fired in nebulite kiln. I think the MP consumption for the ore is 50. MP cost 50. So it, when you get it half, it's 25. So you can use it uh, like eight times with 200 MP. And you get MP back depending on the situation. So it's just strong. And just for context, the Sword of Earth, MP cost is like 10. The Sword of Water, it's 15. And the Sword of Fire, I think it's also like 15. Yeah, and you can get stuff to like half them as well, I believe. Like, we might as well check on uh, Barini and see if she's going to give us the ring now. And then you can just utterly spam them. And when you're spamming them, you're invulnerable. Hello there. Okay. Have a good day. I don't know if I have to do something to get the ring. Or just like before the final fight or something. Okay, he seems to be okay after eating that hot stuff. Oh, the next quest is in the arena. Um, yeah, okay. Well, we're gonna stop here because it's uh, 2 o'clock. It's uh, 10 after 2, roughly. And I would like to get some sleep. So, I gotta go driving tomorrow. Get to my grandmother's. Let's rest. That's a four hour, 20, it's a four and a half hour stream. That was good. Uh, so yeah, so if you um, if you enjoyed, thanks for hanging out. Uh, even if you didn't enjoy, thanks for hanging out. And uh, I'll be here probably tomorrow at 9.30, I th maybe 9. I'm going to try to stream earlier so I can get more done. Uh, so yeah, thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you next time, hopefully. So cheers.